Hey everybody, welcome to part three of the Chef Lee playthrough. I'm gonna play through all three player packs. And in order to keep the secret character a complete secret, I erased my data from earlier. Alright, first player pack is from Grey Games. It's a uh, fairly short and simple, direct and to the point, not terribly challenging, but still a decent uh, set of levels, I guess. Although those first two, it didn't really feel like they used much of the level, but eh, you know. I keep trying to convince myself that that... Oh, hey, it is possible! I've never made that jump before in my entire life. So it is, in fact, possible. All right, then. Now I know. Okay, here, Whee! Oh, fudge. That's the first time I've ever died falling down there. That's embarrassing. Let's try the other side. It's exactly the same. I don't know why it would have made a difference, but it didn't. But it did, because I actually survived. And now I'm going to show you a little trick to skipping half of this level or so. Let's shift over there and just say, screw those last two sideways gravity finder thing. Sideways gravity thingamajigs. Yeah. Take that. I ain't going to lose you. Nope. All right. And, uh, that's the end. Yeah, it's, uh... One minute long players pack of player levels of things. Under the Azure EQ pack. Now, if you're a uh, motion sick, if you're prone to motion sick, you should probably not watch this level. It's uh, almost completely automated, and a l there is a lot of shifting. Obviously, if you're still watching now, I, I don't get motion sick, and I'm starting to get a little. Ugh. So this level is kind of cool, but uh. There's very little player input needed, so it's not exactly challenging. Just kind of sit back and watch the whole thing go. The other levels are less so. This one has one of the more annoying jumps in the game. Actually, two or three of them in all of the player packs. Not just, not just this player pack, but any of them. This is the jump right here. you got to do that. It looks kind of glitchy right there when I did it, and uh, it's, yeah, it's not great. Admittedly, the uh, player pack levels are a little glitchy still. Uh, not horribly, but they can be kind of annoying. Like, the jump is very, very close to being a pixel-perfect requirement. Okay, go over here. We're doing this. Sorry if I'm not talking much, it's because I'm trying to concentrate on what I'm supposed to be doing to finishing the levels. I think I'm doing the right thing. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, okay. Ah! Okay. That, I really hate it when they put a... When they, I forgot about that. You have to uh, hold right immediately for level four at the start. Ah, oh, damn it. Because they put one of those gravity changers right where you start, and that's really annoying. That's a cheap trick to... Uh, getting a bunch of stupid cheap deaths out of your, uh, out of your player fan base, which is not cool, man. Oh, whatever. I will live with it. This level took me a long time to figure out, and I'm not embarrassed to say that, because it's really... It's... it's Everything seems to be going in a, in a non natural... It's like... I don't know. You'd think you'd be, oh, I gotta collect those things first because the, the, the light bulbs, because they're closer, but no, you gotta go, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> I'm supposed to be collecting that stupid lock and I'm trying to jump over here like an idiot. There we go. Okay, here we go. Almost done with this player pack. Okay, let's go over here. Oops, actually, that's fine. Now, this level is also a pain in the ass because it's very, uh, non-linear and kind of weird. So you gotta... You think, oh, okay, I gotta click that closest key first. No, you gotta go barely reach the other key. And then do this. And it's not... It's it's a little annoying. And there's your Azure Q player pack, which is approximately two and a half to three minutes of gameplay. And finally, the assorted... 
which has a lot of really annoying levels. I'll admit that right now. Okay, let's see. I have to remember what to do. Uh, here. I just played through this, so I should be mostly okay. Although there is one level that is hideously glitchy, right near the end. Uh, if I die about 30 or 40 times, you'll know why. And you won't blame me at all. No, you don't have to collect all of those light bulbs, because they just reappear and disappear the, uh, the bits of... whatever. It doesn't matter. Just follow my instructions exactly, except for that. Uh, right, right here. Even though I just finished playing this pack again maybe less than five minutes ago, uh, I still don't remember what I have to do sometimes. Like, yeah. Okay, yeah, that was right ahead of what I had to do. Cool. Okay, this level was a pain in the ass to figure out the first time. And I'm actually going to try to do something that's slightly... Uh, I'm trying to do... I'm going to do it that's slightly not the right way to play through it, which is to jump through those, which you're not supposed to be able to do, but you can anyway. The hard part is doing it twice. Good. All right, I did it. Cool. Now here comes a really difficult part. Yes! That is not recommended to do for uh, newer players. You should actually... Uh, there's a different way to finish the level, and it's slightly less difficult, but still annoying. Okay, this level is also annoying, but less so than the other ones, because you gotta get to figure out some sort of semblance of an order in order to, uh, to actually get the keys, which I did the wrong order, because I have to collect that one, but I can't. So I have to kill myself and start over. Boy, that was great, wasn't it, kids? What I need to be doing is collecting the, the keys that are... God damn it, I did it again! What the fuck is wrong with me? I'm intelligent! You can't tell from my mediocre... I'm doing it again, aren't I? Yes! Yes! That was actually wrong, too, I think, because I can't reach that one. What is... Wow, that's three times I've... I fucked that level up in this playthrough. That's embarrassing. All right, let's see if I can get this right for once. Nope! That's four times! You may want to just fast forward a bit. <coughs> that was lovely. I don't know what's wrong with me. I can't even... This is, this is not a difficult puzzle. I'm just being really dumb for some reason. Oh, fuck that. I don't even need to pick them all up. I can just leave. Wow, I'm dumb. <laughs> I should be able to make that jump easily. This has just gone downhill significantly over the last couple of minutes. Wow, I suck. Hi, it's self-deprecation night here on Shift 3 Playthroughs. Oop. Yes, you can actually sort of jump directly into spikes and not die. Of course, it requires, um, yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm just tired of this game or something, that must be it. Okay, this level has a really roundabout way of beating him, which is unfortunate. It's like it. Okay, what the hell am I doing now? Yeah, right around here. Twenty-first century memory. All right. Okay, wait. Okay, right, right, right. Okay, this is the really super annoying level that's really glitchy and annoying as hell. Okay, I didn't die immediately there, so that's a good sign. Yes, you have to do that, and yes, it's very annoying. Let's see. Eh, eh. Here's another glitch where it's you can potentially make the jump or not. Okay, I did that time. I was really lucky. Uh, the last time I played through this, which was just a few minutes before I started recording, 
Uh, I died probably half a dozen times on that area alone, which is pretty irritating. I'll say that. Okay, I'm go over here. Down here, and here's the last jump. Oh, fuck. Right at the end. Now I gotta go through the whole damn level again, okay? Didn't die. Oh, I died there because I was stupid. Congratulations. <laughs> You're watching the... Uh, this is sad. Wasn't there a song called Sad, Sad Situation? Pretty sure there was. But that song should be playing right now. Over my voice. I just pressed the wrong key. I just pressed like the A button instead of the shift key. Let's see if I make it this time. Oh, I made it that time. See, this game is glitchy and annoying. And there's the assorted player pack, and that's the end of shift three. Oh, I'll come back and do shift four sometime in the future. I haven't played that one in a really long time, and it's very different from the last one. So, I hope you've enjoyed the three part part three of shift three for the flash I'll see you next time Excelsior the end Hey everybody, welcome to part three of Michelle Fleet Playthrough. I'm gonna play through all three player packs. But I didn't. But I did because I actually survived. And now I'm gonna show you a little trick to skipping half of this level or so. Just shift over there and just say, screw those last two sideways gravity finder thing sideways gravity thingamajigs. Yeah. Take that. I ain't gonna use you. Alright. Uh, that's the end. Yeah, it's uh, a one minute long player's pack of player levels of things. I know the Azure EQ pack. Now, if you're a uh, motion sick, if you're prone to motion sick, you should probably not watch this level. It's uh, almost completely automated, and a l there is a lot of shifting, obviously, if you're still watching now. I, I don't get motion sick, and I'm starting to get a little. Ugh. So this level's kind of cool, but, uh... I keep trying to convince myself that that... Oh, hey, it is possible! I've never made that jump before in my entire life. So it is, in fact, possible. Alright, then. Now I know. Okay, here... Whee! Oh, fudge. That's the first time I've ever died falling down there. That's embarrassing. Let's try the other side! It's exactly the same! I don't know why it would have made a difference. And in order to keep the secret character a complete secret, I erased my data from earlier. Alright, first player package from Grey Games. It's a uh, fairly short and simple, directed to the point, not terribly challenging, but still a decent uh, set of levels, I guess. Although those first two didn't really feel like they used much of the level, but eh, you know. 